everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be learning how to make our own mini sketchbooks using the Coptic Stitch Method. So if you want to learn along with me, stick around and watch today's video. For today's video you will need felt, paper of your choice, as well as some sort of backing for your book. I find that the backing on a lot of sketch pads works really well. You'll also need one X-Acto knife, string, and needle. I used embroidery thread. So starting off, I decided to use watercolor paper for this sketchbook. Um, I usually use watercolor paper um, no matter what project I'm working on, just because I like to use a lot of mixed media and wet mediums. So this is the paper that really works best for me. Um, this is really small note card, postcard size watercolor paper, so this is going to make a really tiny book. So you're going to start off by making your signatures. So first you're going to want to fold each piece of paper in half. If you're using regular printer paper, cardstock, watercolor paper, whichever you choose, make sure to cut it so it's double the size you want. That way when you fold it in half, it'll be the size of your finished book. Now. For signatures, I used three sheets per signature stacked into each other. Now, when you're using regular printer paper or cardstock, I'd recommend four to five. But if you're using watercolor paper, I'd do three. Now, you're gonna wanna make each signature have these holes in it. I placed my holes half an inch apart, three on each side of the page, with a large gap in the center. So first off, I'm gonna take a signature I already made and punched, and I'm going to compare it with the one that I just folded. I'm going to grab the pencil and I'm going to mark where each hole should go on the new signature. Now I have my holes all marked and I'm ready to punch out the holes for sewing. So now take your needle and you're going to want to put the needle head at each dot you made on the spine of the signature. Now you can use an awl if you want, it'll make the process go easier, but I just used a needle. Press down and I did a little circular motion until it punches through the felt. After this, I took the needle and I thread it through each and every hole I just made. To make the hole a little larger, and to make it easier for when I pass the thread through when we get to stitching the book. After that's all done, you're going to notice that some of the inside pages of your signature are sticking out. This is common, so don't worry. We're going to cut that off right now. So if you see this line, it's the two pages in the center. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your X-Acto knife. Make sure the paper is really even and stack it down. I usually go one sheet at a time, but if you're using a lighter paper like printer paper or cardstock, you could cut it all at once. So just go really slowly and be very accurate in chopping off the overhang. Trim each piece to the same length as the outside piece of paper in your signature. Now because I'm using a thick watercolor paper, the X-Acto knife didn't cut all the way through. So I'm going back through at the line I just scored and I'm finishing cutting off each piece. The felt used underneath each piece isn't necessarily needed. However, if you're cutting with an X-Acto knife, it's recommended. That way you don't scratch the surface you're cutting on. Next, I add in the third and final page in the signature and I cut that off as well. Once you're all done, your signature should be even on the end. If there's any overhang left, make sure to cut it off. It's not necessary that you do this, but it'll make your book look a lot more professional when you're done. Now for this project, I decided on using four signatures, three pages per signature. I decided this because water, my, the watercolor paper I use is extremely thick. If I did more signatures, it would be a really, really big sketchbook. If you're using paper, printer paper, or cardstock, I would suggest using more signatures and more pages per signature. Then cut your backing in half 
and match the holes to that of your signatures. I punched it out using the same needle I used on the pages. It was fairly easy for me, but depending on the thickness of your backing, it may be difficult and you might need to use an awl. I also decorated these two covers with a stippled flower effect. I recorded a video on how I did this and I'll be uploading it tomorrow. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see that tomorrow. Next, we get into actually stitching the book. First, you're gonna to wanna to take a needle and thread and knot it at the end. You're gonna to wanna to pass the needle through the first hole in your signature. After pulling it through, you wanna loop around the cover and take the needle through the first hole there. It can be a little tricky getting the needle through your hole the first couple times. Just practice, you'll get used to it. After doing this, you wanna pass the needle through that line you just made, connecting the two, the signature and the cover. After looping around this stitch, you're gonna to wanna to take the needle and pass it through the same hole that you came out of in the signature. Then you repeat this process until you get the entire first signature done. Passing the needle and thread through the hole in the signature, As you can see, I made my first mistake here. I accidentally looped the needle through the thread I was pulling taut, so I had to pull the needle back through, but it was an easy fix. Just make sure you go slow, as you don't want the thread to knot up. Then, take the needle once again through a hole in the back cover, pull it through, Once again, go slow while you're doing this. You don't want to tighten anything too fast in case you made a wrong move. Once you loop around the stitch you just made, then you take the needle back through the hole in the signature that you first came out of. This can be really tricky to get the hang of, but if you go slow, you'll get there. Sometimes if your pages get knocked out of line, the holes won't align properly, and you'll be met with resistance when trying to feed the needle through the holes. Just go slow, move the pages around until it goes through. The one thing you want, don't want to do is pass the needle through the pages and create a new hole. You only want to use the holes that you pre-measured. While you're threading the needle back and forth through the cover and the signature, make sure to pull the thread tight every time. If you do it somewhat loose, you'll end up with a book that kind of just falls apart. Each signature won't be connected that well, and it won't hold together in the end. So make sure when you're doing it, you hold it very tight. Now I'm adding on my second signature. This is easy. It's the same process as before. But instead of looping through the stitch you just made between the back cover, you're looping through the stitch you made connecting the two signatures instead. Now, after about three signatures or two signatures, depending on how much thread you initially cut out, you're going to want to tie off your thread and get new. So here I just put my needle through some of the binding that I already made and tied a loop and then knotted it. I did it twice, just for safety. Now, after you make these knots, you can cut off the thread and start again. You just re-thread your needle, tie another knot at the end of the thread, and start like you did at the beginning of the sketchbook process. Now, the thread I'm using is a goldish color and it's embroidery thread. I used embroidery thread because I can separate the strands into the thickness I want. So if you want to copy how I'm doing my sketchbook, I used six strand embroidery thread and I separated it in half into three strands. I used about two arm lengths worth of thread and doing that formed two strands of two threads of three strands. That's confusing. You know what I mean. So I had just enough thread at the end. So if you want 
that is the perfect way to do it if you want to use just the right amount of string. So the process is pretty simple um, through all three of your signatures. The process does, however, change when you get to sewing on your final cover. And you sew on the top cover while you sew on your last signature here. So this is my fourth and last signature. So I will grab my cover and I will be using that on top. So what you want to do when you're first sewing on the cover is to instead of going right into the next signature, go through the top of the cover first. Then you want to loop around that's that line you just made. After going through that, then you enter the first hole on that last signature. That is the first and only time you do it quite like this when tying on the cover. Next in the process, you still go through the signature first. Then you connect by looping around the previous stitch in the signature below before going back through the cover, looping around once and going back into the signature. I know it sounds confusing. Feel free to slow down the video and watch how I do it. Or look online for another video on how to use the Coptic stitch when making a sketchbook. The final cover is the most difficult part, especially because you have two separate pieces, the signature and the cover to hold on to. So just go slow. It's gonna be a little hard to handle, but if you take your time, you'll get there in no time. Now, once you get through the full final cover stitching, pass through the signature and then tie off, just like you did when you ran out of string. Two knots secured and then cut off the string and you have your finished sketchbook. So this is my finished sketchbook. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, overall, I'm really pleased with it. It's a little loose for me. If I could go back, I'd tighten it a little more, but I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. If you wanna learn how I made this beautiful stippled flower cover for my sketchbook, Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the video tomorrow when I teach you how I did it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.